To leave or to stay, it's a tough one. I want to get out. I want to bring our troops back home. I want to start rebuilding our nation. We are in Syria to fight ISIS. That is our mission. Uh, and that mission isn't over. And uh, we're going to complete that mission. America says it wants out of Syria, but not before its goals are accomplished, which could take a while and get real dirty. What do you do? Well, that's what friends are for. We have asked our partners to take greater responsibility for securing their home region. Saudi Arabia, it seems, has volunteered for the difficult task of sending troops to sit on oil fields in eastern Syria. Apparently, Saudi Arabia has been volunteering pretty hard and pretty long. We are in discussions with the U.S. and have been since the beginning of the Syrian crisis about sending forces into Syria. Now, here's the thing. Those Arab troops would have to be trained. The U.S. could do it, but no, not after what happened last time. All the last times. The Iraqi forces just showed no will to fight. Uh, they were not outnumbered. Uh, in fact, they vastly outnumbered the opposing force, and yet they failed to fight. They withdrew from the site. We have an issue with the will of the Iraqis to fight ISIL and defend themselves. So if the Pentagon doesn't want to get involved, there's conveniently a third option. Eric Prince, mercenary czar and soldier of fortune extraordinaire, the founder of Blackwater. Yes, the Blackwater, the infamous private military company whose operations in Iraq resulted in it being banned from the country, only to re-emerge under a new name. Request permission to engage with the test conduct. There were dead bodies everywhere on the streets. The car in front of me was burning with two people inside. Among the dead bodies lying on the street, I saw a child's body, probably seven years old. Prince was out of sight for a while before resurfacing under Trump, whom he donated a quarter of a million dollars to. Prince says officials in the Middle East have already contacted him about assembling a force for Syria. And with John Bolton as the new national security adviser, one of the most radically militant hawks in Washington, no one's going to care about Prince's shady past. John Bolton is here, and we just had a big, <laughs> successful hit. John. It's a win-win. If you're unwilling to occupy a hostile desert in a country that doesn't want you there, well, privatize it. Give your buddies a chance to make a quick buck. After all, isn't that what friends are for?